Hello everyone from Chelsea Fan TV. Welcome to the match day vlog for Chelsea v Liverpool away at Anfield. Um, this is the debut. Got the new hat as well. Um, let me know if you guys like it. Um, hopefully we can get some merch going at some point, but the team seems to be taking forever, so we'll see. Um, but listen guys, I, I don't feel particularly confident if I'm being brutally honest. Um, I think that Liverpool have so much to take in this game. It's Jurgen Klopp's first game back in the Premier League since he announced he was going to be leaving. You know, Pochettino's come out and said that we're coming here to win, but to be honest with you, I don't really see how we win. Uh, you know, tactics don't really show that, and past encounters show that in recent times, the best we can do is get a draw. Um, and if we can get a draw, I'd be very happy with that, to be honest with you. I would have no issues with getting a point today, whether that's a nil-nil or getting an early goal and trying to hold on to it. For me, this is not a game where you press. This is not a game where you try and play sick and tackle football, uh, possession-based football. Sit deep, counter, take the opportunities when they come, and that's how you're going to get something against this Liverpool side. Um, Oh, the lineups have just come out as well. So we've got Petrovic in gold, De Sassi, Silva, Baddy Ishil, Chilwell at left back. So that means De Sassi is going to be playing as a right back. Caicedo, Gallagher, and Enzo in the midfield with Maruake, Palmer, and Sterling. So no Broha today. We're playing with the false nine. Yeah, it kind of it kind of seems to me like it's a counter-attacking outfit, um, but we'll see. I just don't know what to expect if I'm being honest with you. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Hiya. That looked like a clear penalty. <clears throat> Referee's fucking clueless. He's a fucking idiot. Rubbish referee. We know how this game's gonna go. We cannot get the ball out of our own half. 15 minutes in, we are being completely dominated. Oh. What a save, world class save. Unbelievable. Well done, Petrovic. I swear, if, if Pochettino drops Petrovic for Sanchez when he comes back, yeah, Petrovic needs to start every game. Don't touch him.
You knew that was going to happen at some point. We've been terrible. If it wasn't for Petrovic, we'd be 3 0 down already. Checking the goal. Can we get some luck? Liverpool's no. first goal, the own goal, Giotta. Come on, De Sassi. Bauma, come on, lads. Spread that. Love it. Sterling, come on. Where's the overlap, Chilwell? Where's the overlap? There it is. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Red! Red! Oh, my God. Oh, my fucking God. He's given a dive. This is the worst referee I've ever seen. Oh, my God. Go on, Chili. Chili. Oh, Possible foul. Got a little bit of luck there. Nunes hitting the post, and that was probably our best chance of the game as well with Fernandez. That says a lot. But what a shocking first half this has been! Absolutely shocking. We've had no control whatsoever. Not to mention the referee's been diabolical, horrific. Okay, so we are. 2-0 down at half time. I'm in the concourse. I'm with Jacob. Shock. Jacob, what do you want to say? I think I think it goes down to the manager of playing like Cole Palmer up front, but then and again, these players are they good enough? Because I haven't seen that today. It's not been great. And the thing is, people are gonna start bringing Petrovic when it's not on him. I don't think his distribution's been great though. Say least. Fair enough. Well, um, no, I think Petrovic has had a fantastic game, to be honest with you guys. Um, you know, really, really 
good saves in the first half. Two very, very good saves. I don't know if he tipped a shot from Nunes off in the first half as well or if that it just hit the post. Uh, irrespective of that, the referee has been shocking. It was never a penalty for Liverpool. We could have had a clear penalty. I've got people texting me saying that you know the referee is just criminal. Um, I haven't seen any of the replays though. Um, we've set up wrong though. Pochettino for me. If you're going to sit back, sit back. Don't try and attack if you can't attack if there's no structure. We need a striker on the pitch. Gallagher has not been good enough. Sterling can't get involved in the game enough. He is trying, um, so I'll give him that. There's a little bit of link up between Madueke and Palmer, but we can't seem to get the ball out of our own half. But listen, if we can get a goal in the second half early, maybe there's a chance for a draw. from the boys but Nkunku's on the floor oh and Nkunku's down no no Nkunku no such a shame because I feel like the substitutions from Pochettino have actually made a difference I think we've looked so much better in the second half we've had chances should have had at least a penalty um, and that's just heartbreaking to be honest with you because as soon as we had some hope they've gone and scored 4-1 Liverpool So guys, we're just <clears throat> on our way back after the Liverpool game, Brendan, the man, is driving, um, and yeah, just to reiterate, if, if you've not already seen the fan cams, it was just a very disappointing performance, um, and uh, ultimately we can't be happy with it, but I do believe in... Uh, positives coming from having your backs against the wall and even though I would have loved to have won this game if we can win the final in the Carabao Cup I'd rather win that um, so that is the hope that I'm trying to cling on to but if we end up losing the final then there's no excuse um, yeah not good enough and uh, just disappointed because it's almost 2 a.m. and we're still driving home. But listen, guys, if you enjoyed the video, let me know. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, up the chills.